can't remember what I paid for, but if it was like anything over $50, which I'm sure it probably was, I would not buy this again. welcome or welcome back to my channel today I decided to do a little lemon haul so this is a little bit different I was supposed to do this a couple of weeks ago but you know things happen today's little lemon haul is just basically gonna be um, all of my little lemon products that I have leggings um, tops and I do also have the shoes and my favorites and some of my least favorites so the first thing I want to talk about is legging. I am wearing, currently wearing full Lululemon. My favorite leggings from Lululemon are the Swift Speed uh, 28 inch high rise leggings. Those are my absolute favorite. These are for more for like running, training, um, things like that. I love that you can adjust the waist. And it, I love that it does have pockets. It also has a pocket in the back. So like say you're outside or maybe you're in the gym and you have your locker key or something, you can just throw that in there. I believe it can also fit your phone in there. Um, I haven't tried, but usually if anything, I'll probably just put my keys in there. Next up is this uh, top and it's called the Wonder Train Crop Top, I believe. So again, it's thick, it is breathable though. And the only thing that I wish it would have is like the little finger holes. I love the little thumb hole things. Like that would have been helpful, especially like if I'm lifting and whatnot. I don't have to like really worry about putting gloves on. I just have these, but they don't have that. But that's one feature that I wish um, that they added to this top. You get everything in the size. 16 there is one item that I did not get in 16 because it was sold out in my size and I was like I really want this so I just got it in a different size um, but the top is a size 16 and the pants are a size 16. So up next, these are also the uh, Swift Speed 28 inch high rise pants, but this is in the size 14. I actually, when I first got these and tried them on, I was like, oh, I need to start ordering a size 14. <laughs> you know, they fit awesome, they feel great. Um, I'm gonna stick to a size 16, but it's good to know that if I wanted to go down, I could. Um, so again, they have the pockets. They have the drawstring um, and they're pretty thick. I haven't had to tighten this one because it's a size 14. But yeah, it's good to know I can size down. And then it still also has uh, the little pocket on the back. So again, Swiss Speed 28 inch high rise is the way to go. If you're looking for something for training, running, um, just working out in the gym. I do have two other colors. I'm gonna try on one of the other colors and I'll just show you the other one that I have. I don't, wanna, I don't feel like trying them all on. You know what? Scratch that. We're gonna try all of them on. So, let's go. So again, these are the Swiss Speed High Rise Leggings, 28 inches, um, but this is the All Yours Cropped Hoodie. Um, I do love this as well um it doesn't have pockets or anything nothing super fancy about it um, i can't remember what i paid for but if it was like anything over 50 dollars, which i'm sure it probably was i would not buy this again only because it's just a basic crop hoodie it's nothing really special about it um i believe it's cotton i wouldn't say it's the least favorite purchase um but i would not purchase again for whatever amount that I paid for if it was over $50. But again, it's a super comfortable hoodie, long sleeves, no pockets, um, hoodie in the back. Does it have drawstrings? No drawstrings or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it's just basically a pretty basic 
hoodie. So not much to say about that. Um, again, I did get this. I'm pretty sure I got this in a size 16, if not a 16 and an 18. Sometimes I like to size up in um, anything that's not stretchy, um, only because my arms are my problem areas. So this is from the Wonder Under collection. They're one Wonder Under High Rise. These are also 28 inch. Would be my least favorite though, even though they're for training. It doesn't have the drawstring like the other ones, like Swiss Speed. It doesn't have pockets. No pockets in the back as well. Um, and I feel like I had issues sometimes with these sliding down. Not a lot, but I just wanted a little bit more support or like security with the drawstring. So these are definitely my least favorite. I love the pattern though, the camo pattern, um, of course. Uh, they feel good. I feel like these are also a little bit thinner. I could be wrong, but I feel like they're a little bit thinner than um, the Swiss Beat. Outside of that though, they're super comfortable. I do feel like it gives you a little bit of support, but not as much as the Swiss Beat one. To one, I feel like this will be better for like just every day, you know, or like just going for a walk, maybe outside or something, um, maybe yoga. Um, but outside of that, these aren't my favorite to wear to the gym. And also, let me know which ones are your favorites so far. So I do have one more pair of leggings, and then I also want to talk about the shoes. Okay, you guys, this is the last pair of leggings, and these are the line leggings. Um, they are 20 inch, 28 inches as well, so of course, you guys know the pattern. I love long leggings, um, but these are also my least favorite, only because um, these are actually, I'm pretty sure these are the yoga pants. I didn't realize that they were yoga pants. I didn't read the description. <laughs> I just like, oh, these are cute. Uh, this is a cute color. I want them to add to the cart. These are my least favorite, again, because it has no pockets, no drawstring or anything like that. Um, I think these would be really good yoga pants, so they're super, super soft. They're like buttery soft. They're not as thick. I'm like, I can say for sure, they're not as thick as the uh, Swift um, leggings. So yeah, they're just basic leggings. I mean, not basic, the quality is there. They just don't have the features that I would like on my leggings. So yeah, that's the last pair of leggings. I also, before we go, wanna show you guys the shoes. And I have a love-hate relationship with these shoes. So last but not least, I wanted to talk about the shoes um, because I don't, I don't feel like I see a lot of people talk about um, Lululemon shoes. Yeah, I think for good reason. <laughs> I don't know though. I'm not a, a shoe expert when it comes to working out. I just know I'm looking for something flat um, that'll help me with lifting and when I'm on a treadmill or the stairs or things like that. So I ordered um, these Charge Feel workout mid-rise um, shoes or mid shoes um, they have like a sock kind of feature uh, which is cool don't mind it's dirty these are dirty you guys so when i first got them i was like cool but they were kind of hard getting on and i think it's the sock feature that um, is what gives me a little bit of like trouble like I like to slide my shoes on and slide them off these I struggle just a little bit like I have to actually put in some effort with getting these on um, so that's one thing I do dislike about um, this shoe also this thing wasn't that very um, <laughs> strong I, I guess yeah I don't know so I think 
probably after a couple of weeks of having these shoes, um, I always, because it's so, like it takes so much to put the shoe on. Sometimes I like pull on this to get my foot all the way in and they have snapped. They actually have snapped on both shoes. <laughs> so yeah, so that's another feature that I dislike. I mean, I'm used to having this feature on shoes, but um, I just never had one that actually snapped. So I think it just wasn't thought out when they um, made this feature. Like it's not durable. I, I think they just put a little bit of glue and just, you know, put it on there. I don't know. So that's another lace feature. Other than that, these are super, super comfortable. Um, I like that it has the padding right here on uh, the side, like where your ankle is and whatnot. I love that feature, it's on both sides. Um, Again, it's super comfortable. I've not had to like really untie and tie them, um, things like that. That's probably why <laughs> they're so difficult to get on. I think even outside of that, they're just very difficult to get on. Um, so yeah, I like these shoes. I wear them every time I work out. They're super comfortable, but there's just certain things that I don't like about them. And that again, that's the, the little sock footy part. Um, it's just not practical with like slipping on or slipping off uh, very easily. And then this part, uh, again, it wasn't made very well. Um, I think it was just glued on, so it easily snapped. Um, and I don't think I would have had that problem if it wasn't so hard to get on. So those are all of my little lemon buys. Um, my favorites my least favorites as you can see I have a lot of I didn't realize I think I actually have four pair of the uh, Swiss speed high-rise 28 inch leggings so of course you can see those are my favorite um, my least favorite of course are the ones that's not really for training or just you know doesn't have the features for the pockets and things like that so just keep that in mind when you're looking for your next pair of um, leggings I will say it is an investment. Um, Lululemon is pricey, but they're so worth the money, I believe, um, especially compared to uh, other high quality brands um, in their market. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video helps you out. If you have any questions or just leave me a comment, let me know which ones were your favorite. Um, if you are a Lululemon customer or buyer um, and you have a favorite pair, let me know what your favorite pair are. Um, I do know I want to get a bodysuit, like a full like cat suit. I have one from Target, amazing. The quality is really good, surprisingly. Like I haven't, that's a whole nother story. Quality is really good, so I just know that Lululemon's is gonna be like amazing. So I wanna get, I wanna invest in a Lululemon jumpsuit and I also want a crossbody bag in a uh, jacket. So that'll be my next purchase, like a long jacket. Um, so that'll be my next three purchases from Lululemon. Um, but again, I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you're not a part of my community. I would love to welcome you and um, have you watch and follow me through my whole journey of vlogging. <laughs> um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. Until then, see you guys next week. It will be a vlog. Bye!